Hello again, uh, same project, uh, day four. You know, I, I said last night that I I will not make this uh, daily reports, but you know something, uh, today it was pretty okay. The network was working, working somehow. So uh, here I am again on, okay, let's start talking a little bit. Uh, I have some nice comments here. Thank you, Daniel, for the comments. And he said that, uh, I should use a filter. The filter is coming next period, next seven days period. Let's finish with this uh, experiment here. Something interesting about Nebra. I didn't know that, but uh, it's looking like Nebra have the uh, the worst chip, A6-1301. Well, I didn't know that. I never had a Nebra in my hands. And uh, it's looking like this, uh, chip it's uh, reporting matt matt it's uh, writing these things it's because nebra is using the worst LoRa chip of them all sax 1301 so it's reporting rssi without snr edit on top so what you see it's bare rssi all the others are reporting rssi plus snr that's nice to know that uh so in this case, you know, somebody was complaining about Nebra uh, low uh, RSSI uh, reception. So if we take it the other way, Matt is saying like uh, some uh, other hotspots are reporting their witness like uh, RSSI, let's say minus 121, and add on top of that signal noise ratio minus 18 let's say so then we should see a number like 139 okay nebra is reporting straight minus 121 because it's not adding signal noise ratio in the calculation okay and also there is a difference between uh, packet forwarding between a 61301 and six. 1302. I think the best is say it's 1302. Well, I don't know about this. You should uh, you should write your comments about that. It's nice to for for all of us to understand what's the difference between these chips, you know, concentrators. So it's all this series from Sentech. It's S X1301, S X1302, and then 1308 like I have in my health tech, which I heard it's the worst. Now, I, I don't know. Okay, we'll talk about that. Uh, something else interesting. Daniel, thank you so much uh, for your comments. So he said I should stop testing this useless amplifier and install the air body amplifier and the soul filter antenna and amplifier. Okay, absolutely yes. Absolutely yes, you are right. But we have to test this amplifier is the cheapest one. I don't think that there are so many people, uh, you know, affording another 300 euros for a flarm or, or even this one, uh, Air Body, I, I think it's like maybe 100 euros now, isn't that? And it's a new one on the market presented by someone here on the internet. Well, let me try. Hands on, you know, it's cheap, like $5 or something. It's, why not? Let's give a try. We'll never know if this is good for something. And by the way, uh, and by the way, my doubts about uh, CPF 5189 was true. Okay, well, I can find it now. Anyway, that's about uh, fake amplifiers, and it's true. They are here. They are on the market, and uh, something nice I have to tell you. I ask for a return because I bought amplifiers from eBay and. Uh, from a guy from Spain and I uh, asked for refund and uh, return the goods or something anyway. He refund me in a split of a second. You know what that means. They know they are selling fakes. But that's interesting. Again, it's kind of working fakes. So why you bother, you know, to make working fakes? Do the good stuff, charge them a little bit more and you are on the market. Okay. But that's my opinion anyway. Well, guys, like I said before, it was a pretty good day today. That's amazing. And let's have a look here. So let's start with 
uh let me see tiger no yeah i think tiger was early in the morning look here yes around one o'clock oh two two o'clock in the night and the tiger it's like 1.6 kilometers from my place 14 db 14 db nine hours ago four days ago it was one db and 13 days ago it was minus 4.2 db there is a single explanation here they changed the antenna they put a better antenna or they just moved the location and by the way four days ago the amplifier was on but not 13 days ago but it, uh, it's still the same antenna and the same cable on the roof okay so this is tiger let's go next one it's condor oh no it's parrot i'm sorry parrot well parrot minus 12 today uh, minus one to one you can see minus nine here minus seven point eight and uh, minus 14 f two weeks ago one week ago minus seven well it's nice to know minus 9.2 so today was worse than uh, weeks before i don't know amplifier i know it's just a piece of don't tell me <laughs> i don't want to say the bad word tuna 5.2 tuna is very close uh, like distance and it's up on a hill uh, he can overlook me you know somehow so uh, i was expecting good signals from tuna but not all the time look here 5.2 six days ago minus seven uh, 5.2 seven seven hours ago in fact so it's almost the same but it was minus 15 two weeks ago what okay skunk minus 5.8 minus 12 five days ago minus three six days ago minus four nine days ago so this is interesting this is really interesting very very low signal five days ago but minus three from minus three to minus 12 minus 20 well you see i'm only looking at s and r signal noise ratio this is very important once more oh, oh, once more yeah raven 5.2 five days ago zero good and look here plus 7.2 great plus 3.8 super but this is very interesting so here we have minus 115 rssi rssi but the signal noise ratio is 7.2 look here we have a better rssi but a lower signal a noise ratio I don't know okay another one parrot okay parrot it's pretty steady table days ago minus 5.8 minus 8.5 7.8 9 9.2 minus of course 121 121 125 and 122 okay crab crab it's like it's pretty close and it's really strong signal plus 12 6.2 minus 3.5 here and plus 7 10 days ago how comes from this to go down to minus okay to this one what's happening what is happening okay okay crab again 
85. Okay, it's the same one. It's the same one. Uh, yeah, let me delete one. Mongoose was very active today, so we have a mongoose uh, already. Minus 14.2, minus 13.2, mm, pretty close. Another crab? How many crabs? Oh my, minus 76. I think it's... Yeah. And then mongoose. Oh yeah, okay. Like I said, mongoose was very active today. Uh, this was... Uh, well, when? A 13 point... Okay. Uh, 50 minutes past one. Minus 14, minus 13. Very nice. Another mongoose. 13.45. Minus 17, minus 12, minus 13. Okay. And another one. Like I said, mongoose was very, very active today. Uh, that was at four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. Pretty stable. Not here. Okay, this is interesting. So, three hours difference between these two. Minus 17, minus 14. Minus 134, RSSI, minus 119. Mm? It's looking like what? Moving the antenna? Interesting. Only three hours difference and the weather was beautiful today. It was sunshine all day long. So no rain. The sky was blue. But chilly. Okay. Bobcat around four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, my neighbor in same hex. Minus nine. Five days ago, minus 1.5. Nine days ago, 2.2. 12 days ago, 0 0.2. Okay. This was the best. From 2.2, nine days ago, to minus 9. If we consider, if we believe that he's in the same place with the same setup, then I can say this amplifier and what I'm trying to do now up there is just a bluff so it's not worth it but we have to finish the test we'll talk about if it's good or not if it's worth or not we'll talk about this later okay that's all for today i hope it's useful uh, please like please push the subscribe button and uh, i'll be back with uh, news maybe tomorrow yeah if it's if it's something to say of course okay see you bye bye